got the new bearing shells today. I already put them in that rod, but uh, I should have. I'll show you on this one here just a couple things to check. Okay, that looks good. Take this off. Two different bearing shelves, top and bottom, so make sure you don't mix them up. This one's got a hole drilled in the center for the oil hole, and that's in the top of the rod here. And you want to make sure this hole isn't plugged up at all. So I just get a little bit of spray here. There we go. Got a good clean flow out of there. And uh, whenever you're installing bearing shells in either the rod end or the cap end, you want this thing perfectly clean and dry. Do not lubricate that to put your bearing shell in. You don't want that bearing shell to slip around at all. Oh, this is the one with the hole. So how I normally do is I just kind of roll it in there with the notch side at the top. That's dead center, flush on the top. So it's nice and clean. I already cleaned the shells. Yeah, you can't you can't push this in uh, with that notch first. So the notch has got to go up. A little bit off there. flush on the top. So there's the two slashes. So next step we've got to take apart the take apart the engine again and uh, I'm gonna plastic gauge the, the new bearing shell. Okay, you got the crank out all ready to plastic gauge it with the new uh, uh, the new shells. Hopefully that's going to work there. So, this plastic gauge, you just cut it with scissors, just the, the width that you need there approximately. Maybe a little less. And, uh, Such a fine little piece of a uh, plastic. There it goes. Got to lick my finger to pick it up. Yeah, I got a little mark on there. Okay. This is the tricky part. over here about like that got to hold this really still so it doesn't uh, damage the, the plastic gauge
got to find my torque wrench. Okay, try this again. Okay. This is the hard part. I don't want that rod to move. Try to keep it down here as best I can. Oh, 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 oh it's moving. <clears throat> okay. Take her off. Just hope it's 1.5 thou under. That's what I'm hoping. Leave that nut on a little bit. Get in here. Oh boy. No, no. I don't know if you can see that on there or not, but that's two thou. It's bigger than two thou. And oh there's one point five there. That's one it's close to the one point five, but it's not. It's bigger than two. It's probably like 1.7, 1. 1. but that's going to have to do for me. I'm not grinding the crank this time. I'll try this one, see what this one is as well. What do you got there? Give me that shoe. Give me that. Give me that shoe. <laughs> Look at me. Where we're at here with the, the engine, this is kind of like climbing Mount Everest. Made it to the top. Hey, give me that. Give me that. Now we just got to get down to the bottom of the hill. So all the... Uh, Inspections are done, all the disassembly is done, all the cleaning is done, sandblasting, painting is done. Tomorrow, I'm starting to put this engine together. Put the uh, camshaft back in, lubricate all the bearings, put the connecting rods on, torque them all up, lock tight them on this time because uh, this is going to be the last round for those nuts. And uh, then um, I ordered the rings, so uh, but they're not going to be until the weekend. And I'll get the... Uh, the cylinders bolted on and uh, we'll be on our way. So that'll be the next video.